Hello there, and welcome to another thrilling instalment of the Fire Track Fan Service with me. This is the series where I'm hoping to look at different artists that you may be aware of, hopefully you may not, and my suggestions are five tracks for you to have a look uh, into this discography as a starting place that might help you find uh, a musician that's on my radar that could well end up on yours. Now, considering the first one of these that I did was for a band very close to my heart in the Alkaline Trio, just up there, um, you may not be as aware of uh, this one that I'm saying today, or I would be fascinated if you know of both Alkaline Trio and Mr Justin Curry. Justin Curry, for those who aren't aware, is the Scottish-born lead singer of the band Delamitri. Now, that might ring a bell. Delamitri are probably famous to most people for two reasons. They did that song in the late 90s, uh, Roll To Me. Um, it was all over MTV at one point. It was the one where it's a very kind of sunny, I want to say Sunset Strip in America, but all of the band, uh, their heads are on babies' bodies, and it's very kind of poppy. Now, that's not going to be listed here today because that's his band. I've got to keep some lists for kind of later on use. This is Justin Curry as a soloist. The other reason why you might know of Delamitri is uh, they released a um, Scottish World Cup song or well, maybe it was the euros i want to say it was the euros and it was called don't come back too soon i believe or don't come home too soon and it was supposed to be about you know kind of you know doing yourself proud but it was unanimously hated and taken as a kind of a celebration of how awful the scottish football team were to the point where delamitri were hated for quite some time for it uh, funny enough i've never actually got round to catching that track of theirs it's one i might have to look up after this one because so I haven't found it on any of the albums I've gone back and bought since. But what I have found is five tracks that I can recommend to you for one reason or another for Mr. Justin Curry, if you're interested. So, just a reminder, the first one I always start off with is what I'm calling the definitive. So, what I think is a good example for people who know him as to what it could be. Now, I was thinking about kind of, it's really easy to pull something from his album, The Great War. Um, because that's possibly, arguably, his best known album, if you're aware of him. Uh, in the end, I looked over a lot of songs, a man with nothing to do, uh, as long as you don't come back, that sort of stuff. But the one I would recommend is probably the definitive for fans of his. I'm going to say is Baby You Survived. I believe I'm right in saying it's the final track off the album. And it's... It's quite slow tempo. It brings out the fact that a lot of his music focuses on the way he holds lyrics. So what I mean by that is a lot of the music I listen to, they power on through songs and the number of words in a very short track length that they will get in is quite impressive. A lot of the, the kind of pop punk I listen to, it's over in two minutes. Whereas Justin Curry, there's a lot of kind of sustain on a lot of the way he sings words. And this is a particularly good example. Um, I think Justin Curry is a fantastic example of how to bring kind of strings and kind of um, low key drumming, kind of soft drums into your tracks as well. Um, there is a deeper story behind this song that I've never found the time to look into, but for me, it's absolutely heart-wrenching and definitely worth a listen if you haven't um, heard of Justin Curry or you've only just heard me harp on about him separately. So my definitive pick for him would be Baby You Survived. Now... For some of you who see me a little bit more often, you may be more aware of what I'm calling the firm favourite. This is the choice I go for, for um, one that I would put forwards as my choice for who I understand Justin Curry to be. And for me, that is Bend To My Will from the album Lower Reaches. And it is just unapologetically, it's, it seems to be a real kind of tribute to kind of Americana 90s singer-songwriter style. And when the drums kick in for the way that uh, guitar riff comes through, um, it resonates deep within me. There's a part of me whenever I hear it that I cannot help but air guitar. It's so smooth for a song that I have always taken to mean about a man who's kind of taking control over a relationship and kind of demanding 
what he, I would say, believes is best for both of them. Ben, to my will, could be misconstrued as, like, a threat, but I, I kind of really hear it as a kind of, it's almost a standing up and fighting for what you believe in. Uh, in relation to love kind of song so um, my firm favourite that I can recommend to you is Bend to My Will uh, next, the third out of my five recommendations is The Twist something a little bit different there, this one's going to take you a little bit more finding it could be called Unentitled but it's also known by some fans as In The Rain this is a hidden track and it comes in where you can, it, it's something I absolutely love when artists do it. You can hear the kind of crackle, almost the, the sound of a, a vinyl CD being put on where there's the, the air that's caught on the recordings. And it's just Justin Curry with a piano and he plays two verses and two choruses and it's such a simple refrain. The song I would estimate is probably about 1 minute 30 in length but it is absolutely soulful and beautiful it's a song that i'll often find myself just kind of wandering through my days or around the house just kind of you know singing little bits to myself you know uh, the claws of it catch your face and her lips were a waterfall in the doorway of Danny's place you said angel and that is all in the rain, in the rain. And it, it really kind of, it gives me chills. It really does. Whenever I hear that song, I cannot recommend it enough. So that would be mine that's, it's a, just a surprise when you hear it on the album. But it's just a little bit different. And it's almost, it's almost arrogant in how it's just on the album. You find it, it's and he just leaves it there it's just a little kind of little gem for you to uncover um the fourth of my tracks is the newer one um he released an album not too long ago and um i don't know how well it was received but the fourth track i think is really resonated with me it's a song called sydney harbour bridge and it's it's how can i put this Justin Curry occasionally writes songs where I shouldn't like them, where it's a bit predictable. There's not too much substance to it. And I generally have a bit of a, a problem with songs where they name drop place locations as, well, this is a song about this place. Well, I don't know Sydney Harbour Bridge, so I'm not going to like it. But you'd be surprised. Again, there's a real soulfulness. If you have a look for this video as well, there's one where it is just a fairly static video of him on a train, just rolling along. And probably didn't cost that much at all to record the video. But actually, in its simplicity, you listen to the lyrics, and it really is about how, you know, a lot of his songs are love songs, and unrequited love, or disappointing love, or, you know, the kind of heartache that comes from it. But when you listen to this song, it does make you kind of think that, you know, there's a real pain to him that you wonder about, and it's, it's penned in such a simple way, and it is so much better than it has any right to be. So that would be my recommendation for a newer one. Now the final one, if you are keeping score with how this works, Fewer is supposed to be one that not many people are aware of. So, those of you that are Justin, Justin Curry fans, let's get this out of the way. I'm going for Little Stars. Now, this was the first single from the Lower Reaches album, which is the penultimate one he's released so far. It was really big. It was a pre-order single. Um, when I pre-ordered the album, uh, I think he did it on one of those kind of prepaid ones uh, where it was crowdfunded. Um, you got a set of the lyrics, which eventually I kind of plan on having, I think, possibly up here somewhere, maybe next to Robin, maybe under there. Sorry, that must be awful. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but actually, it's not just Little Stars. There's a friend of mine who I've wanted to tell about this. This is Little Stars, 
live from Mrs. Craig's house. The original version is possibly a little bit over recorded and you know kind of there's a bit too much going on. There's a lot of people who dislike the way the producer set up the Low Reaches album but this one um, it, it's filmed in monochrome in this this hallway by all accounts in Mrs. Craig's house and it's just him with a piano and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to say much more because if I am Mr. Pop Punk, bit youthful, 30s, into my punk rock, I mean, look at the kind of stuff that I have on the wall behind me. And I am telling you that this is a brilliant ballad with a man at a piano. As a Billy Joel fan, I think that's worth a look. So that is my five track fan service to Justin Curry of Delamitri. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you agree, if you disagree, hopefully if you find something that you didn't know of before this, leave me a comment. Make sure you've liked, subscribed, hit that notification bell so you can see what else I'm coming out with. I'd really appreciate you being a part of this. And if you've got to this point in the video, thank you so much for entertaining me. Now go and give him a listen. Let me know what you think.